Okay guys, well, hello and welcome to Season Your Food, Spice Up Your Life. So today I'm going to make for you a low carb biscuits and gravy. I'm super excited, I've been craving this and since I've been in low carb, I've had a few cravings, but the way I've been successful is to figure out ways to make all the foods that I love. So I'm gonna get you started. We're gonna turn on the heat, medium to high. I'm just using um, Bob Evans um, normal sausage, original sausage. So as soon as this gets skill gets hot, we'll put this in there. You can see the ingredients here, it's pretty simple. We have heavy cream, heavy whipping cream. We have two cups, a cup of chicken broth, crushed red pepper flakes, ground sage, a little bit of xanthan gum to thicken it, a little bit of cream cheese, natural sausage, and that's pretty much it, some salt and pepper. We're gonna get this started. Yesterday I used a product called Carb Quick to make biscuits. So I made some really pretty little biscuits yesterday. I just followed the instructions on the box, pretty simple. The only thing that I added was a little bit of um, a little bit of butter pats, some really, really cold butter pats that I mixed in with the, with the uh, batter, uh, just to give it a little more flavor. So um, Carb Quick has really, really low carb, and then everything in this, uh, this with some great recipe is also super low carb. I personally like to season my food as I go, so I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. The salt releases all the natural moisture in the meat. I'm gonna add some pepper in there. I like to season it as I go. We'll add more later. Now my normal biscuits and gravy recipe, <clears throat> I would add two tablespoons of butter at this point. And then I would add the flour. I like to brown the flour. I don't like the taste of the flour, so I make sure that I add the flour in right now with two tablespoons of butter. So I'm kind of browning the flour. I just find that it gives the biscuits and gravy a nice uh, creamy flavor with the butter and a little bit of extra flavor, and it's really good, foolproof. And then I think I add about four cups of milk and just let it simmer. The only thing different here is we're going to be adding, we're going to be using heavy cream, we're not using milk because of low carb. And we're going to be using chicken stock, which I'm kind of, a chicken broth, excuse me. I'm kind of excited about that. Okay, so this looks really good. This is all brown, crumbled up nicely. Um, the pieces are good, good size. So now we're going to add in, we're going to add in the seasonings and then we're going to add in the xanthan gum. So I have a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Get some spice and a teaspoon of sage. I love sage. I'm gonna stir that in. I'm not draining the, I'm not draining this uh, sausage because it doesn't have that much grease. And honestly, the fat's gonna give it way more flavor. And on keto, you're supposed to have a little higher fat content. So we're gonna go with it today. So I got that all stirred in there. Spice is alive. Now we're gonna add in the xanthan gum. I'm gonna sprinkle it over the top because like I said, we don't want it to get cakey and congealed. So we're gonna add that in, and then we're gonna add in. We're gonna stir that first, and then after that, we're gonna add in the chicken broth, and we're gonna stir, 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 heavily. I'm gonna turn this down to low to medium. Okay, so now, we're gonna go ahead and start adding in our liquids. So we're gonna add in this chicken broth a couple tablespoons at a time, and then we're gonna stir it. I'm continuing to stir this because it looks pretty good. Like, it's not too thick yet. Um, and I definitely don't feel like it's cakey, so. The xanthan gum hasn't really came to life yet, so. 
The next thing I'm going to add in is two ounces of cream cheese. Melt it down. Get this up to medium so we can get that kind of incorporated. This is going to add a creamy thickness to it before we start adding in the heavy cream. So yeah, we're really using two things to thicken. We're using cream cheese and we're using the xanthan gum and then the heavy cream is also pretty thick too. So we're going to start slowly adding in this heavy cream. stuff when I cook for myself. I taste it as I go. Okay, this is looking nice and thick. It's getting thickened up, so just needs to simmer for a little while. Just needs to simmer. It looks really good. I'm so excited to try this. <clears throat> Alright, there you have the biscuits and gravy recipe. Hope you enjoy. Like and follow me on YouTube. Season your food, spice up your life.